We have Dylan, Matt, and Murray from the band Red Huxley joining us. They just rocked two awesome acoustic, acoustic songs in our studio. Welcome, guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> good, how's it going? Cool. Yeah? yeah good. I just want to say before we start, you all have really phenomenal hair. <laughs> <laughs> we Thank try. You. Yeah. So do you. Oh, thank you. That's maybe awesome. we can start a group club, maybe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, before we get right into the nitty gritty of the interview, I have some questions to ask you guys. What does Red Huxley taste like? Uh, beef burger. Beef burger. Mm. What kind of toppings on the burger? Uh, go. Um, bacon. There's definitely bacon on it. Bacon, ever. Some sort of ginger preserve. <laughs> <laughs> That's <true. laughs> um, Beer and a burger, yeah. 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 Awesome. What does Red Huxley smell like? Oh, men. <laughs> <laughs> men and conditioner. That's such okay. a hard question. <laughs> well, that's what it smells like most of the time because we're either in the band room or like that's true. on stage. Okay. So it does smell like men. Okay. Cool. Sometimes it smells like hangover. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit rough. I think that's been worse than men. <laughs> okay, what does Red Huxley feel like? Jeez. I know what I want to say. Um, <laughs> it feels say like it. us, I guess. <laughs> eh? Is that kind of deep? Like? Um, like I think I was going to say something I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> to the touch. Um, <laughs> feels good. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what does Red Huxley look like? <laughs> like Very a, handsome. Um, <laughs> when you can't tell the front from the back because it's just hair everywhere. <laughs> like cousin Ed. <laughs> okay, cool. Or Chewbacca. Yeah. yeah. So your documentary Road to Rancho just launched last week. Mm, yeah. Tell me a little bit about what it felt like to finally launch it after that incredible journey. To see it for the first time in front of a whole lot of people was like an amazing feeling and everyone like really responded really well so <coughs> yeah it's, I, it's I got emotional <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like because we hadn't seen any of the footage in a while yeah. it was like a good couple of weeks or, or like um, like two months and you sort of it still felt like the whole trip was just like like it did it actually happen mm. and then when we watched the video it just brought all these like memories flooding in and I got emotional how did this whole road to rancher how did it come about how did it start well, um, when Eagles of Death Metal came down two years ago now, mm -hmm. like last Opie Corpy, and they played a show in Cape Town, and we got to meet them, luckily, and speak to the Dave Catching and give him some of our stuff and say to him, like, basically, we want, we'd like you to produce our debut album. Would you be interested? Like, not really thinking much of it. And a couple of days later, he emailed us, emailed us back, and he was like, yeah, definitely, I'd dig to do that. Mm -hmm. like, what did that <laughs> feel like? Because I can't imagine getting an email from Dave Catching. It was unbelievable. We still just looked at it like, is this really happening? Did he really just email us? Like a little girl. We thought, we thought that potentially it was like... <laughs> we thought potentially it was some fake guy who was mailing. And then it was like going to take all of our money, or the money that we raised. It's just weird. It was like... Right yeah, up until the moment that we actually got onto the airplane, we were still like, is this the real day? You know? Internet fraud is a huge thing. For sure. So, yeah. Well, like, I win a million bucks every day. Me too. And then you have to put... 20,000 bucks of your own thing to get the million bucks back. And did you have the option to have him come back? Yeah, to come back here. Yeah. And then he, he basically said, well, listen, I have a studio that is really awesome yeah. in America. I know it. I know all the instruments. I know, all the, I know the board and everything. Yeah. And I think it would be more worth your while to come here because we'd be able to do something that I would you know, feel and we would feel comfortable and everything. Whereas if he came here, we would go to a studio that none of us knew and we would be in Cape Town in our comfort zone. And so going there, we were out of our comfort zone and he knew what was going on. And it just, yeah, it created something, something special. It was cool, like every day someone new would come in. It would either be someone like kind of famous or someone, one of his buddies who was just awesome, but everyone was just cool. And like you say to him, oh Dave, like, yeah, I want, I want to sound like the Black Keys and like Soundgarden. And he'd be like, cool, two minutes, amp on. Uh, do some weird things with pedals and that sort of thing and have that exact sound or something very similar. So, Jeez. yeah, he just collected like, I think over the 30 years that he's been there, just mm -hmm. the most insane equipment and everything has a purpose and everything's different. I want to go back to the beginning of the story. When Dave invited you down to the States, did you have the funds to get there? No. 
How did you get there? We stumbled upon this, upon this um, uh, website called Kickstarter.com, which is a uh, crowdsourced and uh, funding website that's based on a reward system. Um, and we've seen all these successful projects that have gone through in the past and how they made a video. So we, we kind of um, we made a video and um, put together a case, you know. And we just went on it. In 40 days, we managed to raise $25,401. And like right, in, right up until the last two hours, we were still like $2,000 behind. And then I think yeah, on the last hour, we cracked it. And we were, it was a, one of our buddies. <laughs> and then friends and family and, yeah. and um, you know, a whole lot of other organizations kind of helped us to get there. Now, I know some really famous people have recorded um, at Rancho, yeah. so at now Queens of the Stone Age, Arctic Monkeys, Dave Grohl. What did it feel like to be in that same space? Did you ever think you would get there? Very weird. So strange. Like, when the second we arrived at Rancho, the whole iconic sign on the door, and we got there, and we knew the history about it, and we just, it was just like, whoa, like, this is so weird. And we sat down with Dave, just got, like, got some drinks and sat around and started chatting, just saying, like, hi, we've just arrived, you know. Yeah. Um, and straight away, he just started telling us stories about like the guys who've been recording in the studio, like lately, the guy from Rage Against the Machine, and like a couple of others. And it was just like this, like barrage of like, oh my God, like mind blowing, like this. So um, yeah, and then once we started recording and stuff, we were playing the instruments that those guys have played on yeah. before as well. It was also quite surreal because like the guys who got us into playing music, like we were recorded with. So it was like yeah. we arrived there and we were like, okay, cool, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I listen to rock and roll because of you. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it feels very homey there, um, yeah. everyone's friends, family. I know on the second last night, you had a big barbecue kind of party. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Turned out like a bunch of really cool people came, like the singer of Eagles of Death Metal, who's a nutcase but really awesome, <laughs> and he's like, ama like really <laughs> just awesome to be around. The um, Hutch was there off of the Queens of Stone Age tour. Um, the drummer of Able Nation, he's now the ex-drummer of Able Nation, but he was there. Um, he was awesome. And like just a bunch of really cool, like all of their friends and mates. Yeah. And Hutch had his like daughters there and their kids. And so it was like a big family. That's Anyways, the, 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 whole, the whole night we like sort of just chilled. And then towards the end, they opened the, the jam room. Mm -hmm. And guys were grabbing guitars, grabbing bass guitars, jumping on the drums. We got the old Moog synthesizer out. And everyone was sort of, you know, we'd all been drinking and had a good time, whatever. And it was just like, we just started jamming. Everyone was swapping instruments the whole night between everyone, like the old guys, the young guys, everyone was jumping in. And a really cool moment for me was that I was playing bass with the drummer of Animal Nation. Mm -hmm. And I don't even play bass guitar. And I was just like mm -hmm. jamming. And it was just really cool. And it was, I think what it sort of summed up was that all these guys, however famous and whatever they are, and everything that they've done, at the end of the day, they just like love music and being in that environment. I want to talk about most memorable moments. So I want to start with Murray. What was your most memorable moment for the entire trip? Um, I think still with the first time we walked in and like um, Dave said to me like, yeah, I know Brad from Rage Against the Machine was playing on this kit. And I basically like sat down and picked up his sticks and started jamming like where he had left off like two days ago type of thing. And I think just that was like the eye opener to what we were getting into and what we were about to experience. And yeah, I think that's what our, one of the biggest memories. Awesome. <laughs> Matt? When Dave gave me the keys to his car and he was like, cool, just fill it up and you guys can drive it when you want. <laughs> it was just this, old, this, this red Oldsmobile um, convertible Cutlass Supreme, which is like, like super rare for us, but apparently not so rare over there. And then mm -hmm. you know, I just like let us drive it. And we were just driving it in the desert and it was like the most surreal thing. And Dylan, your uh, favorite moment, um, most memorable? I just had it in my head, it's gone. Okay, should it's we come back to you? No, it's coming back. <laughs> yeah. I think um, when we were tracking um, the one song, the first song in the album actually called One Down, I sat down with Dave um, and he was, he was like, no, this part needs a solo. And I'd never imagined a solo at that yeah. part. And he just grabbed a guitar and he turned on this most insane amp in the back in the tracking room. And then we just started jamming and he was just playing this insane solo. And then he was like, okay, cool, like something like that, but now you do it. I took what he did and sort of like did, it my, did my own thing. And, and it's now on the album and it's really cool. And it's, it's just like this crazy, you could say it's kind of spontaneous in a way. Um, so it's solo on the album. And that was a really cool moment between us two and I just enjoyed that. Yeah. Cool. And when's the album coming out? 
Uh, it's on the 15th of November. We're doing an album launch at um, uh, the Assembly okay. with Goodnight Wembley, uh, The Dolphins and Rob Father. And then we've got some special guests as well. Okay. And then potentially someone else who's going to be playing with us um, for yeah, the whole secret. album. Secret. Yeah, it's a little secret. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's been jamming with us for the last month and he's learned all the songs and he, he's playing like the little extra bits that we, we um, kind of put onto the album. Um, to make it sound a little bit bigger at, um, at Rancho with Dave. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a good show. Cool. And you hear Red Hux, you like, haven't heard them before. Or heard us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and how can people check you on social media? Um, Redhuxley.com, uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram, yeah. um, at Red Huxley. And um, yeah, our YouTube page is just Red Huxley. And our Facebook page is Red Huxley Band. Yeah. Forward slash Red Huxley Band. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thanks cool. guys. Thank you.